Right, welcome ladies and gents. We've got a live action Scooby-Doo in the works, as if Velma wasn't enough. Oh yes. Now, straight off the cards, you hear about this, and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, my, yeah, sure, maybe. Let's have a look. Two things which are bad about this. It's all going to be on Netflix. Not great. Uh, the producers behind it, Greg Belanti. Eh, not good. Really not good, actually. So hit subscribe if you're new here, folks. Turn the bell notifications on. Let's take a look at this variety article. Ah, Scooby-Doo live action series in the works at Netflix. Because that's going to be great. I can't wait. Good God. Seriously. Anyway, live action Scooby-Doo series. Could soon be coming to Netflix, Variety has learned from sources. So this is an exclusive to them. Uh, the one hour drama project is said to be nearing a deal at the streamer with a script to series commitment. Interesting. Exact plot details are being kept under wraps, aside from the fact it will be based on the Hannah Barbera cartoon, which is good. Warner Brothers Television will produce, with the studio having recently launched the Dead Boys Detective series on Netflix. So this is interesting, because this comes to us in the sort of world of streaming wars. This is a step in the right direction. And what I mean by that is, you know, is, is Warner Brothers, right? Warner Brothers owns, Warner Brothers Discovery owns Max, HBO, HBO Max, whatever you want to call it. And they're not developing their own content for themselves now. They could, but they're not. They are selling it off, which is a good thing, actually. This is what needed to happen in the streaming wars. No one's going to win this. It's already been won, right? Like, it's already, it's already been won. Now, if you diversify your approach to the business, like Warner Brothers is doing, you'll win in the regard that you'll be able to stay afloat and not just die a death. Paramount Global, Paramount Plus, whatever, is losing a substantial amount of money because they're just sinking cash after cash after cash in their god-awful streaming platform. Whereas Warner Brothers has been really smart and going, you know what, actually, Netflix, you've won. You've won. Do you want to buy this off us? We'll develop it together. There you go. Brilliant. So that's, that's an interesting development because confirmation that that is happening more and more. Uh, and the other good thing is Hanna-Barbera. Cool. Based on Hanna Barbera. Now it says based on the, the Hanna Barbera cartoon, which does mean it's not going to be uh, continued. Well, no. Was Velma based on that? I guess they could loosely say it was based. So maybe positive, maybe not. Uh, Josh Applebaum and Scott Rosenberg serves as writers and will also executive produce along with Andre Nemec and Jeff Pinkner under their Midnight Radio banner. Ah, uh, here we go. Bloody Greg Belanti. There you go. That haze the oh, I hate him so much. Sarah Schechter, Lee London, uh, Redmond will executive produce via Belanti Productions. They're the executive producers. Not good. They are not good. Uh, the company is currently under an overall deal at Warner Brothers TV. I never understood that. I never understood that. Like how they managed to do that. For those that don't know, like Belanti, Belanti is one of the individuals that's produced all of the crack for CW. So, oh, when we say that he's terrible, he is really terrible. My God, he, he, he has somehow managed to convince people he's good. He's not good. He produces utter tat. Utter tat. Um, not good. So, reps for both Netflix and Warner Brothers Discovery, is this uh, Warner Brothers TV, sorry, has declined to comment. Now, it says this. Should the project go forward, it would not be the first live-action Scooby-Doo project to make it to the screen. Because, of course, Scooby-Doo was released in 2002. Freddie Prinze Jr., Sarah Michelle Gellar, Matthew Lillard, Linda Cardellini, with Neil Fanning voicing Scooby. That was a thing. It, interestingly, it was actually a box office success. $250 million worldwide. Crazy. Crazy. And then two years later, which is a really fast turnaround, they made Monsters Unleashed, which did $180 million. Not great. Um, and there was a TV film. I didn't know this called Scooby-Doo The Mystery Begins, and its sequel released in 2009 and 2010. Did not know that was a thing. So there's also been a wide range of Scooby-Doo animated projects over the years, beginning with the original cartoon series in the late 60s. Various incarnations have followed over the years, spanning multiple animated series and films, most recently the animated Scoob Holiday Haunt, and then, of course, Velma, where they killed off 
Velma. Amazing. So there you go. There's not a great deal else really to say on this. It's an interesting thing. I think uh, this sort of, to me anyway, confirms that the streaming wars are nearing an end because you've got big players like Warner Brothers TV, Warner Brothers Discovery, whatever. Uh, essentially, not, not necessarily admitting defeat, but moving into a direction where they can be successful with other things. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, but yeah, Greg Belanti's terrible. He's really, really bad. He is the worst. Uh, and he's involved in this. So you could probably say this will be bad as a result of that. I think that's a pretty fair assumption to make, actually, quite frankly. So what do you guys think? Let me know down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.